Hello, welcome to Java CIT. This is a part 3 of Bootstrap. The previous video, I have already told you how to download and install Bootstrap with responsive example, right? But today, I am going to talk about container in Bootstrap. Before starting, I want you first to completely understand Bootstrap. I mean, what is Bootstrap and why we use, then go out to the next video, okay? So, Bootstrap is a free and open source framework for creating websites and web applications. It is fully responsive web design which contains HTML, CSS and JavaScript and fit into different screen sizes like mobile, laptop, tablet and desktop. Why? I define this definition because I want you first to completely know about the definition of bootstrap then go out to the next video right so without wasting a time let's start container container is used to set the margin of responsive layouts it contains row and column elements and this type of container elements are known as grid system so we will discuss about grid system on my next video okay so there are two container classes in bootstrap first is container second is container fluid both these classes are very important in bootstrap because all the contents like text image button form anything inside in this container so first we talk about the container class okay container it is a fixed width container and max width changes at its breakpoint how this maximum with changes at its breakpoint I will tell you further okay see there are five responsive breakpoint here first extra small devices like portrait font less than 576 pixels second small devices like landscape font equal or greater than 576 pixels third medium devices like tablet equal or greater than 768 pixels Fourth, large devices like large laptop and desktop equal or greater than 992 pixels. Fifth, extra large devices like extra large laptop and desktop equal or greater than 1200 pixels. All these are very important breakpoint in container. Okay. Okay, let's take an example of container class. And right now I'm using ASP.NET and how this bootstrap class is used in ASP.NET project. I will show you okay but if you are like other platform then you can also use this bootstrap like HTML, ASP.NET, Java and PHP etc. Everything is the same the way of bootstrap classes using any platform okay. In my previous video I already told you how to download and create a new folder bootstrap folder and inside this bootstrap folder how to paste CSS and JS. Everything I have shown you right. If you still didn't watch my previous video, please watch it because it will help you how to download and install Bootstrap. Now copy this Bootstrap folder and paste it in your project. Okay? Right click here and paste. Click here. Save Bootstrap.css. Move and paste in header section. Now click on JS. See jQuery 3.3.1.min.js. Right? Move and paste in same header section. And same bootstrap.js. Okay? Move and paste in same header section. Define container class in div section. Okay? Class container h3 and I will type here some text ok welcome to Java CIT control plus s shape 
and execute. See, we are not getting how much pixel of container class, right? So, we give the background color, okay? And type here style background color maroon. Ctrl plus S, save, open browser and refresh. See container is visible in center and leave 15 pixel padding from left to right. I give the color of text so that text is visible well. Okay. It's done. Color white. Ctrl plus F and repress. See, looking good. See, this is a whole container, and this container max width is 1140 pixel and breakpoint is 1200 pixels. Okay, let's see. Open bootstrap.css. Open bootstrap.css, Ctrl plus F, that means find, and type here container. Enter. As you can see here, container. Max width is 1140 pixel. And breakpoint is 1200 pixels. Breakpoint means minimum width. Okay. If screen size decreased, I mean less than 1200 pixel, then this breakpoint will go to the another breakpoint which is less than 1200 pixel. Okay. Now you can see here 992 pixel, which is less than 1200 pixel, right? So now breakpoint is 992 pixel. If breakpoint is 992 pixel, then max width will also change. Okay. Now container max width is 960 pixel. In simply say that unless until the size of the screen, the size of the browser does not reach any one of these breakpoints, you know, till then the container max width will not change. Okay. Let's take an example. Open browser. You have to use Firefox for this topic. Don't use another browser. Okay. Right click here. Click on inspect element. Okay. Click here and now select container. Okay. You can also know the size of the container by the box model. Okay. So click here. See, right now the container size is 1140 pixel, right? The padding is 15 pixel from left to right and margin is auto, right? In some cases, inspect element is hided. I mean, it will disappear while you maximize, while you decrease the size of the browser. But I am using desktop window 10, so that's why my inspect element look like this on my desktop. But if you are using laptop or you are using different uh, window, then you have to click on right side, okay? You will be see on your laptop on right side dot dot. You click there and select and click dock to right. Okay, but this is my desktop window 10, so I click here this symbol. Okay, dock to side of browser window 10. See, browser size is automatic decreased because inspect element move on right side. Right now, you can see here max width changed 720 pixel how see container maximum width is 720 pixel and container breakpoint is 768 pixel i mean minimum width is 768 pixel 
when I decrease the size of the browser, see, it's still 720 pixel, no change, right? When I decrease more the size of the browser, see, see, the container max width is changed, 540 pixel, and the breakpoint is 576 pixel, right? Before the browser size is 768 pixel breakpoint and the maximum width is 720 pixel, right? But now the screen size is 540 pixel. Okay. Click here box model. Right now the container max width is 540 pixel. Suppose I decrease the browser size is less than 576 pixel. Then see the container max width is automatically changed. Why? Because there are no breakpoint used here. Because no minimum width here. Right? It's changing continuously without break. Right? Now number two, container float. It is a full width container, 100%, no matter the size of screen. Open bootstrap.css, see 100% full width, right? No break when used here, I mean no minimum width here. Okay, let's take an example of container float. Type here div class container float. Style background color blue. And I will type here some text. I may continue to put okay. Style color white. Control plus S, save, and refresh. See, this container is a full width because we use here the class of container float, right? When I decrease the size of browser, see, it's going so smoothly. Why? Because in container float class, there is no defined minimum width. So that reason, the size of the screen do not jump. It's going smoothly, right? Click here, container float. And look at here, very carefully, right now, the screen size is 696. Okay, as soon as I decrease the size of the screen, then it's going continuously changing. Okay, see? changing according to the size of the screen, right? See, look at their size the screen, 500 right now, 573, 447, 346, right? And now, seven thirty-eight, right? Why this is screen changing continuously? Because in country fruit class, there is no defined any minimum width. Click here. Yeah. 
the basic difference between two classes are container is a fixed width and max width changes at its breakpoint but container fruit is a full width no matter the size of screen hope you like and i will catch you on next video thank you so much for watching